A tangible account of damages and priority needs for the Turks and Caicos, hardest hit islands of Grand Turk and South Caicos were identified by Sidera. According to the assessment, 95% of the housing in Grand Turk and South Caicos has been destroyed. One-fifth of the homes in Grand Turk was considered as significantly damaged, while one-third of the homes in South Caicos was either damaged or destroyed. Health structures were considered to be badly damaged with significant focus on roofs and buildings, resulting in the disruption of most health services. Pharmacy stores and supply facilities received major damage or total destruction. Damages to health institutions were less significant in North Caicos and Middle Caicos. There has been major damage to electricity in Grand Turk. The entire electricity landscape will have to be rebuilt, according to the assessment. In Providence Alley's, 50 poles were down and 9 out of 12 distributors were also down. Most of them have been repaired. In North Caicos and Middle Caicos, 50 poles were down and 100 poles in South Caicos. The airports on Providence Alley's, Grand Turk and South Caicos were all flooded. All airports are currently opened. The distribution of relief supplies is being undertaken in collaboration with the Red Cross and other non-governmental organizations. Priority thus far has been in providing food, water and temporary roofing materials, according to the assessment. The report comes more than two weeks after Tropical Storm Hannah made landfall and more than one week after Hurricane Ike, a Category 4 storm with sustained winds of 135 miles per hour, impacted the Turks and Caicos Islands. Governor of the Turks and Caicos, His Excellency Gordon Weatherill, noted in a press release that I think we can look back over the past week with considerable satisfaction. The situation is stabilizing and becoming more organized, and essentials such as water, food, and shelter are being met. He went on to say, The resilience shown by the people of the TCI themselves and their spirit of community has been heartwarming. I encourage them to continue in this spirit, for example, by clearing debris from their properties and placing it by the side of the road for collection so that their localities can look tidier and closer to normality. The overwhelming majority of the people in the islands have responded magnificently with patience and fortitude when necessary, with self-help and contributing to the relief of the community when possible. Unfortunately, a tiny minority have taught to take advantage of the situation with acts of burglary and theft. I strongly advise them to decease, and I would like to reassure the law-abiding public that the police are giving priority to tackling any such activity.